What's up guys, I'm Deep Cut, your YouTube, and welcome to a new episode of Hidden Meanings. For those of you who do not know yet, this is the show where we analyze some of the themes, metaphors, and of course the hidden meanings found in a few key episodes of Steven Universe. If you haven't seen our other episodes, or if this is way after the video got released and you want to see our newer episodes, I'm going to have Haley link the playlist in the description down below, so please go check them out. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite episodes in the entire series called On the Run. It starts with Steven reading a book in the same vein as the Hardy Boys, which highlights to us that he's still very much a child at the beginning of this episode. This is interrupted when Pearl, Amethyst, and Garnet return to the temple with some of Peridot's robots. Pearl delivers some quick exposition revealing that she, Garnet, and Rose made a promise to protect Earth from Homeworld. Amethyst is left out of this little anecdote, and her feelings on it are made very clear. Despite how serious Pearl's story is, Stephen immediately relates it to the books he's reading. This really highlights the metaphor for the entire show. Being a crystal gem is like being a superhero to Stephen. He sees it as something very cool, something to do for fun, when in reality, the metaphor is that being a crystal gem is just being an adult. And while that may seem cool in the eyes of a child, it comes with very big responsibilities and very serious consequences for your actions. It's not something to do for fun or to be cool. After Pearl and Garnet leave, Stephen pines for the kind of adventure that he reads in his No Homeboys book series. Amethyst, inspired by that idea of not having a home tying her down, embarks on a journey with Stephen across the countryside. It starts out really fun for the two, but it quickly takes a disappointing turn for Stephen, who finds that it's not very easy to feed himself or find a comfortable place to sleep when you don't have a home. The adventures showcased in Stephen's book series never really tell you about the hard parts of being on this kind of adventure. To him, it all seemed like fun and games, but the reality of the situation is that it's very difficult. This mirrors perfectly the idea of being a crystal gem. It seems like an effortless, fun adventure for superheroes, but in reality, it comes with very painful responsibilities. Stephen asks to go home, but Amethyst admits that the temple is not actually her home. Stephen then seems to think that Amethyst from Homeworld, but Amethyst reveals that that's not her home either. After some pestering, Amethyst finally decides to bring Stephen to her real home. Amethyst brings Stephen to the kindergarten, a seemingly dark place where no life seems to be able to survive, let alone thrive. Despite this, Stephen tries to be just as excited as Amethyst is about showing him this place, but he quickly realizes that there is something dark and sinister about it that is just beyond his comprehension. Stephen is disturbed to discover that not only was Amethyst born here, but potentially thousands of other gems he didn't even know existed and whose fates are now a mystery to him. Pearl arrives on the scene in order to comfort Stephen and chastise Amethyst. Along the way, the two end up getting into a bit of an argument, and Amethyst is clearly now upset despite being seemingly happy about this place that she was made in just moments before. The two are having a pretty heated argument when suddenly... The circumstances of one's birth is one of the major recurring themes in this show. Each of the characters, including Steven, were born into a set of circumstances that they had no choice in and weren't necessarily in favor of. Most of them made choices later in life to go against this supposed nature. Amethyst, on the other hand, did not have the opportunity. Amethyst fights to help the Earth, but this was not a choice she made. Pearl, Ruby, Sapphire, Rose, Bismuth, they all chose to stand together and fight for the Earth and what they believed it stood for. She was not born until after the Rebellion, and while this episode may seem to indicate that she feels pretty guilty about the way she was made, how it came at the cost of life on Earth, there is one moment here that highlights something much deeper. Amethyst is not the same 
as the other crystal gems. She is on the outside looking in. Thanks for watching.